Hello everyone and welcome again to factoring is what we're going to work on today. Uh, difference of two squares specifically. Now with difference of two squares, the formula factoring a squared minus b squared, it has to be a minus. The factoring is a plus b, a minus b. That's how you factor it. Now one thing you will want to have in your list here is you're going to want a list of all the perfect squares, at least up through 12. So you might want to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Boy, I got short at the bottom there. Now, you want perfect squares, so you square this number, x, x squared, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144. Now it would be worth your time to write down that list of numbers so that you have it for quick, easy access so that you can check to see if something is a perfect square. So what I'm doing here, when I want to factor this, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to see, is this something squared minus something squared? So that's the first thing I look at. What squared gives me x squared? x. What squared gives me 144? 12. You can see 12 squared is 144. If I look here, 144, oh, that's 12 being squared. Okay. So my x is the a expression, and my uh, 12 is my b expression in my formula. So when I go to factor this, it's always a plus and a minus. It doesn't matter which one comes first. The x plus 12, x minus 12. And that's basic uh, difference of squares. The x goes in the first spot of each, the 12 goes in the second spot of each, plus and minus. All right, let's take a look over here. What squared minus what squared. Now you don't have to do this step, but it can be helpful if you're having any difficulty with this. What squared gives you y squared? Y. What squared gives you 36? Oh, it's 6. So those are my a and my b. y plus 6, y minus 6. So y goes in the first spot of each, 6 in the second spot of each. Give these two try, uh, give these two a try, and see what you can do with it. All right, now that you've unpaused the video so that you can see if you did it right, what squared minus what squared? Well, it turns out 11x has to be squared to give you 121x squared. And 5 has to be squared to give you 25. So my answer is 11x plus 5, 11x minus 5. And there's your answer to factoring differences to two squares. This part, by the way, is not factoring. This is the factoring. This is just an intermediate step to help you see what the A and the B values are. This one, this is addition of squares. It cannot be done with integers. Not possible. Now, I know that if you are getting into complex numbers, yes, it is possible. But in this case, in a real number system, we cannot factor this. Some of you may have tried y plus 10, y minus 10. 
that would give you y squared minus 100. Others may have said, well, that doesn't work. What about y plus 10, y plus 10? If you did y plus 10, y plus 10, that gives you y squared plus 20y plus 100. So why not y minus 10, y minus 10? Now you've got a negative 25, uh, 20, not 25, negative 20y in the middle term. So you don't want, uh, you can't do that one with difference of squares. All right, let's continue. Last problem. What squared gives you these? Well, 5x, that part I think you have. This part on the other side, a little bit harder. What squared gives you y to the fourth? y to the second. Because y squared times y squared, you add the exponents, y to the fourth. Or if you are saying what to the second power gives me y to the second, well, I divide by two to get this two. All right. My answer here, 5x plus y squared, 5x minus y squared. And that's all there is to difference of two squares.